Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and welcome to four short random horror games. Yeah. I've been playing some longer games lately, uh, and so I thought I would check out something a little bit more bite-sized. A lot of these games are going to be around 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, links in the description for everything I played today. The first game is called Replay. Yeah. After a long and busy day, you found this old-looking game on your way home. It seems interesting, so you take it with you. You quickly realize that the controls are simple, A and D to move left, spacebar to jump, and use doors, and your computer mouse to look around the room. You decide to play it at night. Cute. Cool. That's boop. Let's do it. I already don't like that thing in the... Sorry, I always point that thing up in the corner. Don't like that. Okay, so I can look around. Super Puma 16-bit. Cute. This, this looks really good. Looks like I have an N64 with the expansion pack in. Okay. Uh, let's start running. So jump. <laughs> I love the, the creep. Love it. Hello. Hi! Can I talk to you? Or are you just waving? I think you're just waving. Uh, make sure nothing weird is happening. The little creeping animation is so cute. Need six coins. Okay. Got it. I want to drink some of my Coca Cola. Coca Cola. <laughs> I love in games when they make like make up their own branding. Hello. Uh, yeah, I can't talk to you. I can't jump on your head either. Hmm. That that got me pretty bad. I'm not the best at platforming, so hopefully I don't mess this up. Oh god. Okay, huh. Yeah, how's it going everybody? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm trying to survive the cold winter here in s Trying to survive the cold winter here in Scotland. What is that? Is that part of the is that part of the wall or is that something in my room? Alright. Hey buddy. Hello. Do you have a coin for me? Alright, bye. He didn't seem to mind too bad that I was just breaking into his house. Got it. Oh. Oh, the music is changing. Okay, let's. Goo. Yeah, eight coins, got it. I can see into the next house. Oh damn, that one's loaded. Hell yeah. Let's get in there. Let's rob these folk. Oh. <laughs> so I guess I can't go in there. Oh, I wanted that money. I wanted that money real bad. Ugh. Ugh. 
Oh. What? Oh shit, did I miss something? Oh. Huh, single bucket. And there's a bucket right there. Hmm. Y'all, this is actually really good. <laughs> Scare the shit out of No, I can walk through. Oh. Did I fall for a Home Alone style prank? I just want to play a video game. Hmm. <laughs> who got bl who got blood all over my fucking TV stand? My mom's gonna be so mad at me. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> My guy. Oh. Ugh. Damn, he is stumpy. Killed my family. <gasps> okay, I thought that was a. Is that a pet? Oh fuck! I am. I'm effectively doing this to myself. That was good as shit. That was so good. Alright, uh, let's see if there's anything after the credits. Oh, okay. Jeez Louise, that was good. That was, that was very, very good. Yeah, I'll have a link in the description if you want to check any of these out yourself. So is it repay? Or rep? Hey! <laughs> Alright. Um, let's move on to the next one. Is there anything different if I do actually replay it? Okay, and this one's called Jack in the Box. Your son found an imaginary friend, but you have no idea what terrors are you about to witness? Terrors you are about to witness? Short 3D horror game takes about five minutes to complete, based on creepypasta character Laughing Jack. Sec. Let's do it. My son James keeps talking about this clown named Laughing Jack. I believe it's just an imaginary friend, like any parent would. But ever since that day, when he first talked about him, strange things started happening. 
I'm having nightmares, which look very realistic. But everything is black and white. I love, like, a good chroma key horror game. Chroma key? Is that, is that the right word? I guess it was black and white. Monochromatic. That, I think that's what I mean. Monochrome. Also, do y'all have an imaginary friend as a kid? I did not. But enough people make games and stories about imaginary friend that I feel like surely somebody's had an actual imaginary friend. What's this? Looks like it's... Okay, so that's... Looks like that's part of something. I'll come back if I need to actually open the jack-in-the-box or something. So it's like a found footage black and white horror game. Oh! Here's the actual box. Hello. Handle is missing. Okay. Well, shit. Let's grab this. Boop. Something in there. Hi. <laughs> What's up, my little creepy dude? Oh, there's eyes everywhere now. Hello. Like, I know it's gonna jump out at me, right? Why am I getting nervous, though? Hi! What? Okay, uh... I was expecting, like, a big blur. Oh, is this going to be the bleh? Is this my son's toy car? Um, usually I'll go right in these situations, but this time we're going to go left. I just get body checked by Jack? Oh, fuck. Do the walls just move around? Come here, little shit. I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna blood I'm gonna check you back. Oh no. Damn, like multiple different areas. That's actually really impressive for these kind of games. Okay. Somebody's tearing my kitchen up. Big ass house. Am I rich? Damn, I must be rich. Oh, there's my kitchen. I wonder if it's tearing up my kid's room. Lar? Need to grab a knife? Okay. 
Knife. Got it. Whoever you are, you're not taking my son away from me. Okay. Let's... Actual animations and stuff, too. Uh, damn. Oh, come on. You make a mess, you get blood all over the comforter. Naughty little kid. Hi! This time, it wasn't just a nightmare anymore. Cute. I liked that. I was, I'm was i actually surprised that there were like different areas and stuff. Usually these short little horror games, it's like one area that you're stuck in. So yeah. Let's see if there's anything after the credits. Cool. Yeah, I like that. That was actually pretty impressive. Uh, I especially like the starting black and white area. I'm a big fan of just black and white horror games. Um, yeah, let's do the next one. Okay, this next one is called Lamp Post. Mysterious case of an unknown Keter? Keter? Class SCP. Lamp post. Uh, only one ending. Twisted story with an ambiguous ending. Ooh. And so I always have to look up what these mean, because I always... I forget what the, the classifications of the SCP are. Uh, exceedingly difficult to reliably contain. One of the primary classifications for anomalous objects or entities. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. An apish box, or is it... A pish box. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost, SCP, is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They're heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamp post uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. Uh. Dr. Hayden? Oriental suggests that this is a Keter class? Keter? Class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. <laughs> I just looked it up. <laughs> we should be very careful while observing this object. SCP. Brr. Doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of dis uh, disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forest, yet the objects in the area appeared from unknown locations. We must contain those objects. Here, this is an analog multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities like frequency, signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lamp post and collect them. Okay. I'll be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us, just in case if anything happens. And Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help, if we need any. Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant, avoid interactions with the lamp post, and good luck. Okay. Sounds like something I can do. Oh, like it has their names as if it's like a MMO. Like an online game. Okay, can I leave? No. Damn it. So it said avoid the lamppost. So I'll go over here first. Uh, nothing's going off yet. Hmm. 
big bottle of something. Oh, here we go. So that's one. Haunted coffee cup. Got it. Hey, buddy. Are you real? Okay. Are you real? Okay. And you seem really close. Regular looking lamppost, right? Except its light glows more intensely, but spans a shorter range. You must be very careful with it. I already feel uncomfortable being here. If you collected the samples, we should not stay here for long. The SCP radiation can be harmful. For some reason, my Google just turned on on my phone. Stop listening to me. Stop it. Uh, report to me afterwards. My head is killing me. Let's see what this guy has to say. Nothing. All right. Garbage? Yep. Ew, stinky trash. Wait, what is it? Is it the trash bags? Or is it something up in the tree? Oh, there's something in the in the bushes. Just random stuff. This lamppost is a litter bug. Ooh, dickhead. Okay, that's four. I believe. Okay. Need to find one more item. Me comb through all the bushes. There's a bloody shovel over there, and there's bloody footprints right here that go off into the woods or something. Yeah, I don't want to mention the bloody shovel at all. Uh, report to Dr. Cooper. Got it. Which one's Dr. Cooper? Dr. Thorne. Hi, Coop. Dr. Coop. Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, you not wonder where are those objects coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? Hello. No one is allowed in this area. Yeah, there are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension? Bro, can you not hear that? Your analog multimeter is picking up high frequency. Damn. Oh no, the lamppost. Oh, did it move us? Find a way out. Uh, hmm. Date unknown. We discovered something out of this world. Out of this world! <laughs> it is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory is that this vortex of photons create a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else. A dark place where time is non-existent. The lamp, be the lamp post becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light, and if anyone touches it, the lamp post and the object or a person disappear. Hey, buddy. Hi, friendo. <laughs> Fuck. Um, let's go this way. 
Hey, a computer. All right. Um, hmm. Is that it? Well, here's the lamppost. Touch, touch, touch. Nope. Okay. What if I need to activate some more electrical equipment? This way. A, oh, there's a computer back there. Okay. Date unknown. Sometimes the lamppost can make a make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned. But one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadowy fi or the shadow figure. Is that the guy that disappeared in the hallway? It whispers your name, it suffocates your flesh, and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there is nothing left of you. Well, at least I'm getting fed. Boop. Okay. Oh, fuck. You dickhead. Get out of here. <laughs> Fucking got me. Okay, here's another computer and a note. Uh. To any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye, it will vanish, but appear once more. We call it the Photon Shadow, which was created by this lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever without realizing that your flesh does not, or does no longer belong to you. I don't feel safe here. Hi. Buddy, stop it. Is that your eyeball, my dude? Oh, bro. Okay. Coco Coco? I love Coco Coco. Hey, everybody, leave a like for Coco Coco. Mmm, delicious Coco Coco. <laughs> so that's three computers. Let's go see if that's enough electric energy to activate this thing. Okay. Hey! I'm back, except everything's gone. Yoink. Oh. Alright boys, form a, cir form a circle around me. You know what to do. That was cute. It was, uh, very straightforward, but I liked it. I haven't played, like, a simple SCP game in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I liked that. Um, let's go to the last one. Okay, the last one is called Take a Look Around. You find yourself in the middle of a nightmare in an endless warehouse. They are everywhere. Mannequins. Are they alive? I love mannequin horror games. Big sucker for them. Some of my biggest jump scares throughout YouTube have been because of mannequins. I think my first ever mannequin jump scare was probably in... Are you ready for a nightmare? <laughs> <Then go ahead. laughs> Say the name of the game, come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that got me good. <sighs> I thought he was going to say, then go ahead, take a look around. Uh, yeah, I think my first mannequin jump scare ever was in Condemned Criminal Origins. There's a scene where you're going through a mall, and these mannequins just follow you. Okay.
And here they are. Hello? Are you alive? Look like... Uh... Like a Barbie or Ken doll without their heads. Hey, buddy. Love it. Well, this one better get out of the doorway. Yonk. Hell yeah, he moved. He did what I said. Now be careful. <laughs> they can move. Uh huh. Do I have to? Is it like a weeping angel style? Like do I do I maintain eye contact? Hello. Yep, weeping angel style. Love that. I haven't played. Ooh, there's actually a few of them. I haven't played one of these style games in a while. For a while, these were all the rage with the indie horror games. It's like every other game was a Weeping Angel style. If you know what that is, uh, there's an episode of Doctor Who where these statues called the Weeping Angels move and try to attack you if you don't maintain eye contact on them. Ooh, I'm getting swarmed by them now. Uh oh. Okay. I don't think this one actually moves. I think it's just these two. There's also a, a horror game I played a long time ago called Statues. Part missing. Okay. Uh, yeah, Statues, where these mannequins and just other statues. Move like this. Okay. There's no sprint. So you need to... Be careful. Got the key. That one looks normal. Yeah, these style enemies always make me, like, forget to breathe. I, like, catch my breath, like... <gasps> Ugh. Yeah, let's see how fa let's see how far they move. Okay, so one, one Mississippi. Okay, so it's a decent amount. Let's go back this way. I think the part I need is going to be in the locker. So they're around there somewhere, I think. I wonder if my eyesight works through the wall. Boop. Boop. Got it. Wait a minute. Does that one move? There we go. I want to get them out of the way. Here we go. Bonk. Yeah, they're coming around the corner now. Bonk. Sick. Hello? Oh, he fell down! Oh, no! <laughs> Cute. I like how it's, like, pulsing. Okay. Is that a good... Oh, shit. Ooh, don't do that. Stop that shit. Oh, it's part of the drums. 
I thought it was somebody running up behind me. Okay, it's another area. Got to figure out. Let's see, do you move? Yes. Okay. Oh, so do you. Damn. Okay. So you got two on me. I bet you're another one. Enough. It's time to end this nightmare. Oh, I love that. <laughs> you have no idea what you've done. I fuck some mannequins up. They're no longer a mannequin, they're a mannequin. What? I might, I might have to mute this for copyright, but it's the Mission Impossible theme. Specifically, it sounds like the Limp Biscuit version. Yeah. That was very funny. Like, out of nowhere, just... Why, why the Mission Impossible? Oh, actually, wait. The tracks Take a Look Around and something were remade on virtual instruments for use in this game. So I wonder if that actually will trigger copyright. Since the, the 1st of January this year, I've gotten like over 65 copyright claims. Like, it's been excessive. What a, what a random ending, but I love it. Like, little things like that just really fill me with joy. Yeah, so that's it. Four random horror games, uh, very short, tasty little bites. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any recommendations for horror games to check out, or just any games in general, please leave a comment. Uh, I have, I think right now, I have five videos planned after this. So yeah, I have plenty of stuff to record, but if you have any recommendations, please let me know. Um, yeah, leave a like, it really helps. Check out my Patreon. I recently wrapped up the Walking Dead Michonne miniseries. Um, and you can also check out Revenge of the Colon for free. Revenge of the Colon is free for everybody. No ads. You don't have to sign up or anything. Yeah. Link in the description. Yeah. Cool. I will see you all next time.